Hi guys, so I just wanted to come show you how I do my little castor oil and lavender essential oil eyelash lengthening trick. Um, I've been doing this for the last couple of months and I feel like my lashes have really grown a lot. Uh, and I don't know, it just feels like more nourished and I just... I have so many good things to say about castor oil and this is actually the castor oil that I use this is the now solutions castor oil uh, there are tons of different castor oils out there right now though um, I just always liked the now products so I got this on Amazon I believe you can probably get castor oil at a lot of health food stores and stuff like that but I will link this below from Amazon I'll also link a couple other ones that I think would be good that might come maybe in a little bit of a smaller tube or something because because I'm telling you guys I've had this for a long time now and I've barely put a dent in it and I use it all of the time because it's not only good for like the lengthening of the lashes but it's very good for hair and skin and stuff like that like I've used this on dry scalp before and it works really well so look up the benefits of castor oil and you'll see and then the other things that I use for this are these little mini mascara wands and I use some Young Living Lavender Essential Oil. And basically when I do this, I always do it after I take my makeup off. I just took off my makeup, I put my moisturizers on and stuff, and then this is like the last thing that I do before um, I go to bed. So it's just like kind of part of my skincare routine now to make this happen. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I do this. It's so easy. So I just take one of the little mini wands. They have all different sizes of these on Amazon. That's where I got these, by the way. Uh, I get everything from Amazon. But these are just the mini ones, and I really like these. They were like six bucks or something, six or seven dollars for five mini ones. And then after you go through it, you can just start with another one. I just feel like it's more like sanitary that way and all of that. So it comes like this, and then you get the little... Um, I guess like the little filter thing that goes right here you put in there and it just helps to take a little bit uh, less product on here which is really what you want you don't need a lot on your wand when you're doing this so that'll be the last step but I'm gonna start with the castor oil and you can seriously just pour the castor oil straight in here you can do it like over a sink or something or you can put like a little funnel in there or whatever I'm just gonna use one of my little dropper tools that I use for my essential oils a lot this is just really easy there's not a lot of cleanup and basically I'm just going to pick up some of the castor oil in this which the castor oil is a little bit thick so just know that going into it and I'm gonna put this directly in to the mascara wand and it's gonna take a little bit because this is pretty thick it is gonna take you quite a few droppers full to get to where you want to go but basically I just keep doing this until I get pretty close to the top Okay, so I do like to leave a little bit of space at the top because I am going to put one drop of essential oil in here and you also have to, you know, stick the wand in and you don't really want it to overflow. So I'm just going to go in with one drop of lavender essential oil. Now I will tell you, I have only used Young Living essential oils. Um, I don't necessarily trust a lot of other brands because I haven't used them so I can't speak on that so before you just randomly put any type of essential oil near your eyes especially be sure to check the ingredients and the quality of them um, I just really trust Young Living so that's why I use this but if you have something else and you trust the quality near your, your eye then you can try that too but for me I just use this and it's worked totally fine for me and I really do believe it's helped with like the growth of the lashes so I'm just gonna go in with one drop of this you again can just drop it directly in I'm gonna use my little uh, my little filter here and do one drop into the tube there we go it ended up being two drops and that's okay obviously the bigger your tube the more lavender you'll want but I really don't think you need more than one or two drops in the tube because a little bit goes a long way so that's what this is gonna look like and then I'm gonna put this little part in here and then I'm going to dip the wand right in there and twist it on so this is how it just stays on my little vanity area and then when I'm ready to use it all I have to do is pull it right out 
and it's perfect. Okay, so I zoomed you in so you can see a little bit better, but I have a couple of ways that I apply this. The first way, obviously, is with this little mascara wand, and basically I just put it directly on to my lashes, just like you would put mascara on. So you can definitely just do it like this, and it is gonna be a little bit weird, because like I said, that castor oil is a little bit thick, but having this little part right here really helps to take off a lot of the product, so it's very good. So I just put it on like I put on mascara and let it get onto all of my lashes. And I also do my bottom lash line as well. And you don't want to rub this. Like you don't want to really rub your eyes much after you do this. Like let it settle in. That way you're not getting it in your eyes, you know. So this is how I do it. I try to get in all of the little small areas too. Because those are the areas that, you know, you want to kind of stand out when you have your lashes. And when you have your mascara on and stuff. So... Look at my hair just everywhere. <laughs> so this is how I do it. Now a lot of people like to go on the lash line because that is where the, the growth happens. So I do have something that I used to use a long, long time ago and it's like this kind of wand right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's just like a little wand that can go directly across your lash line. So I use that sometimes too. So I just dip this wand into I dip this wand into my little castor oil concoction and wipe it off a little bit and I just put it directly across the lash line like this so it just promotes growth from the root up you know so that's how I do that and you can do it either way I'm sure you can get some of these on Amazon uh, they're they're everything like this is fairly cheap on there but I'm sure you can find it at beauty supplies and stuff like that. I will say though, this mascara wand is awesome. I love it because it gets the entire lash and I have just found that it really helps with growth. And the, the time that you notice it the most is when you put on your mascara. You will be able to see how much longer and thicker your lashes have become. So that is gonna be it for this little castor oil tutorial. I just feel like there are so many benefits to castor oil, not just lash growth. You can also put it on your eyebrows. You know, it can really help with hair growth on your head. I don't know, I just, I think there are so many benefits for it. So definitely look up what those could be for your life. Uh, I love it, especially for dry scalp. I use this quite often. I don't use it every time I wash my hair because it can get a little bit oily, but I do it once or twice a month and it really does help with that. So I really like this stuff, you guys. It's so good. And like I said, I really like this brand, but there are so many other great brands out there as well. Everything that you'll need to, to know about this will be linked below. And I also wanted to mention that the lavender essential oil isn't like a huge necessary step but I do believe it has helped with the growth of it. But I know that castor oil on its own can do the same thing. It might just take a little bit longer and that's okay if you aren't really into the whole essential oil thing. It's totally cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't yet and also give this video a little thumbs up if you did like it and you like little mini tutorials like this. I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here. Love you.